the more I um, communicate with y'all, the more I find that it's as though a better scenario or a way to a better scenario is unwanted or unthinkable in a certain way. Perhaps that would imply that now isn't good in some sense and perhaps that's something that we can't accept if we are involved or invested in this scenario that isn't a part of the now what culture what government what society we have doesn't that's not a part of the now the now is a phenomenon anything subject to the now is not the now is an aspect of an extension of an aspect of the object us we are the object anything that we create is a sand castle they are sand castles. To hold to these pitiful things is to be a fool. I am standing before these sand castles. and I deny them and in my denial of them I must come up with an alternative you can't stand in front of the world and deny it without some kind of hope because you are a pessimist then and I choose not to be a pessimist I chose not to be a pessimist almost immediately afterwards after discovering the conspiracy. You see, the other thing is, the other aspect of this is, even if you don't take into consideration the conspiracy aspect of this whole thing, this whole world that we're experiencing, even if you don't take that into consideration, we still have capitalism is still virtually a poison and so is the nature of the devolving or regressive state but more more importantly we can't get confused about what is the moment and what is an aspect of us anything that's an aspect of our creation is in a sense an illusion especially if it's or only if it's a construct a government is a construct a social order is a construct we can't be we cannot be attached to these ideas they are not an aspect of our now they are not important. What is important, because, because if they become important, we can't evolve them. We can't change, because then they're like tradition. They're like, you know, they're things we then cannot improve or change or whatever. That's, that becomes complicated, because when we think that the now is the totality of our 
uh, existence, including all of those things, then we become confused and we think that the government is perfect and everything is perfect. Well, it's not perfect. We should constantly have a discontentment. A, a discontentment with how intelligent we are, a discontentment with how, and I mean that individually. I, I, have to have an, I have to have an individual discontentment with how intelligent I am. And I, we all, as a group, have to have a discontentment with the situation, with the overall situation. Things must constantly be improving. But at the same time, we should know, we should be able to discern when refinement has become ridiculous. Refinement becomes ridiculous when you have wars on everything like we have now. Wars on drugs, on poverty, on whatever. War on war. Let's have a war on war, everyone. It's, it becomes ridiculous, okay? We need to have a change. The only way to have change is to prepare for you. It's as though uh, complacency, and it's as though um, disinterest have taken over. Even with us, the ones that are, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're atheist or whatever, we all have become that way. And we've all accepted this illusion, these, these sandcastles, as our reality. And they're not. Technology is an aspect of a reality because we've created it uh, and it's material. But these moral codes and these intersubjective agreements or whatever, they're not real. They're not an aspect of the moment. I mean, they, 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 they take place in the moment. They are an aspect of the moment. They're an aspect of an extension of us that we go along with. We have, we, you and I haven't created it. We just go along with it. This this may be one of those things where it can be argued in all kinds of different ways. And if it is, then you don't understand what I'm talking about. Because ultimately, the illusions of, and not only that, but they're arbitrary and they have no merit anymore. If they don't have merit, then they shouldn't be a part. And if we don't accept, if we don't like the situation, the governments or whatever, if we don't like all those kinds of things, then we, sh we have the ability to change them. That's that. Especially if you have an alternative. I I'm, going, I'm going to mandate at this point that everyone that watches this request a PM from me of my government. I don't care whether you've seen the video that I've talked about the economy or whatever. I'm going to send you the full thing and you can read it yourself. And um, the, another aspect of this is I have basically a 30, almost 40 page long uh, blueprint that goes along with it that, that I used the blueprint to create the the manual for in the first place the blueprint is is thorough as hell it goes it goes to everything every single aspect in detail this will be if you if you comment and don't you know I, I need I need to give this out to everyone so because I need to make I need to start making moves people and then and then what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna give that you're gonna give that to somebody else or some shit okay this needs to get on the on the on the ball on the this ball needs to get rolling, motherfuckers. This needs to get rolling. We all need to get rolling. We all need, we all need to stay, we need to start making moves, people. We need to start making moves. Because this is getting uh, it doesn't matter whether or not our banking system survives. It's a terrible system, everyone. Wake up. We need to get out of this. We need to get ourselves out of this. We need to start making some changes. Um so yeah. Motherfuckers. I'm I'm taking a stand! Y'all don't like my movies about, you don't like my videos about, uh, about government? Well, well, tough poop. Infinity is not as interesting as our lives, people. Government needs to change. Fine.